Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey. I'm Nick Ross. The Friars had to fight to tie the game against Northeastern in their one game this past weekend, but ultimately it was the Huskies who came away victorious. Now the Friars turn their attention to UMass Minutemen, with only two points separating each squad in the hockey's standings. On today's episode, Patrick Moynihan comes on the show to talk about his growth as a freshman, plus Coach Lehman joins the program to talk about what his group needs to focus on this week against the Minutemen. This Week in Friars Hockey starts right now. We're joined now, as we are every week, with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, Friday night against Northeastern, your team falls behind. Bright spot, team comes back, but ultimately Northeastern pulls away. What were some of the key differences in that game? Uh, well, I mean, we, we, uh, we were chasing the game from the first period. I thought we were just sloppy. I thought we just we played a sloppy game, and it, uh, it, it really came back to haunt us. I thought we were sloppy in a, on a line change they scored on. We were sloppy in a neutral zone defense. Uh, that they scored on, and uh, we didn't. We weren't hard enough to play against, you know. And that's first half hockey, but we're in the second half now, and um, you know we we can't just uh, be easy to play against, you know, at this time of year. So I was a little disappointed in it. Um, still disappointed in it, but we have to move on and um, and get ready for a big series against UMass. You mentioned after the game in your press conference, the team regrouped between periods, did some of the little things in the second and third period. What were some of those things they did to help boost the offense? Well, I mean, we, we just started possessing the puck a lot more. Um, I thought we started, um, you know, in the third period, I thought we started getting to our game offensively. I thought we started had some really good zone time. Um, we had some good transition chances. The second period, uh, we spent a good amount of time on the power play, too, so I thought that, that kind of helped some of our guys get into the game. But, um, you know, I thought uh, we had all the momentum in the game. We took a, we took a late penalty. Um, when it was tied and we had the momentum and uh, even though we got we had two chances on the kill there they come down and they score one and and you know if, if you're gonna win on the road you can't leave it to chance like that and now this weekend every series in hockey is a big series but this one has a little bit more national attention to top 10 teams it's such a log jam in the standings how do you keep your team focused on the series at hand and not focus on some of that ancillary stuff well I, I mean it's, it's pretty easy we didn't play well against Northeastern so it's you know we're focused on ourselves obviously uh, um, so you know I, I don't think we're worried about anything else on the outside um, outside of our game against UMass so that, that was pretty easy you know coming off a, a game where you know you didn't play well uh, I think it's gonna be pretty easy for us to to look inside and just focus on us and finally, Patrick Moynihan is our guest today. <laughs> Scored a nifty goal the other night against Northeastern. What are some of the goals you have for freshmen like Patrick entering the season? Well, I mean, you know, the goal for him is to lead our team in goals. I mean, he's just, he's a goal scorer. And, um, you know, I think the more we can get him around the nets, the more we can uh, get the puck on his stick in the right areas. I think he led our team in shots in that game against Northeastern. And um, the goal he scored was, was outstanding. But, um, you know, for him, we have to develop more of his game. Um, but, you know, I love his game. I love him. He brings a lot of energy to the team. He's a great kid. Uh, really fortunate to have him part of the program. All right, Coach, appreciate your time. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Nick. We're joined now by freshman forward Patrick Moynihan. Patrick, nice goal Friday night against Northeastern. Were you looking to go top shelf on purpose, or was that kind of how it worked out? Um, I mean, definitely looked good, but... I was trying to get the puck on that and try to make something happen. I was lucky enough to kind of put it top shelf and um, it was a nice shot, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, no, it worked out a highlight reel goal. Now 10 goals on the season. What were some of your goals going into the season and how have you adapted to your role in the team and adjusted to the college season? Yeah, going in definitely wanted to produce and help the team out and um, help them win games and do everything I could. So um, getting the 10 goal mark, it's awesome. Um, it doesn't really mean too much. I think the biggest thing for our team is what we do all together, that's our wins. Um, but going into the year is definitely something that I wanted to do, so I'm happy I did it. First year at the college level, what kind of advice have you gotten about adjusting to the college game? Yeah, all the older guys have kind of um, helped the young guys kind of acclimate to the college game and with school and stuff. So a lot of tips if it's obviously get your sleep, get your rest, nutrition wise, because I'm um, a pretty busy schedule, I'm going to rink every day and I'm going to class. So um, it's just kind of finding the little things to do, being on top of everything and just being organized. Yeah, balance seems to be the key word when it comes to college athletics. Now, Super Bowl Sunday was this past weekend. We were both Patriots fans, so not exactly watching it for the game too much, but big day for food. What's kind of your go-to Super Bowl uh, 
item to eat. Yeah, definitely the buffalo chicken dip. Uh, my mom always makes it every year. I've been home for a few Super Bowls with her, but um, she makes a, a really good dip, so I uh, can never say no to that. I'm sure it doesn't really uh, last too long at yeah, the Super Bowl no, party. No, it does not. Yeah, that one goes quickly. Well, yeah. thank you for your time. Good yeah. luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Appreciate it. For a breakdown on the matchup with the Minutemen, we send it over to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. This week, the Friars will have a home and home series with UMass starting Friday night in Amherst and heading back to Schneider Arena on Saturday. This will be a meeting of two top 10 teams as the Minutemen are currently ranked 8th in the nation and the Friars check in at number 10. The Minutemen are 6-9-2 overall and have a record of 9-6-2 in Hockey East play, which puts them tied for first with Boston College. Leading the UMass attack are forwards Mitchell Chafee and John Leonard. Chafee, a junior from Michigan, leads UMass with 29 total points. He finished third in points for the Minutemen during their run to the national championship game last season. As for Leonard, he leads the squad in goals with 17 and is second in points with 22. The Massachusetts native was fourth on the team in scoring last season with 40 points in 39 games. Leonard's father, also named John, was an assistant basketball coach for UMass from 2001 to 2005. The Friars and Minutemen have yet to face off against each other this year. Last year, it was the Friars winning their last meeting 3-2 at Schneider Arena. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thanks, Mike. That'll just about wrap up today's episode. A big thank you, as always, to our guests, Coach Lehman and Patrick Moynihan, for joining the show. Friday night's game is over at UMass at the Mullen Center in Amherst, Massachusetts. You can watch that game on Nesson. Saturday night's game is the Skating Strides game here at Schneider Arena. Get your tickets now before they sell out. If you can't make it out, you can watch the game on CBS All Access, and you can listen to both games on the radio on 104.7 FM News Radio. Of course, when you're online, you can follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all the post pictures, updates, and more. Thank you so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey. See you next time. Have a great day.